The doll wars have existed since the beginning of time. People online are always talking about FL is for babies. Ableton looks like an Excel sheet. Logic is for stinky loser idiots that don't have friends. <gasps> but today, I want to get to the bottom of it and figure out which DAW is actually the best. I downloaded the three most popular programs. I'm going to make a beat in each one. The rules are simple. To speed things up, I'm going to be using loops from friends, but I have to add drums and structure the whole beat. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so first we're going to be using FL. I'm kind of going in order of like most familiar to least. And FL, I'm definitely like the most comfortable with. I've been using this for seven years. I had to think really hard about that. This is the program that I started on. I made most of my music on this over the years. I feel very comfortable. So let's start. I actually really love this loop. I kind of don't want to make it like too complex because I feel like the loop kind of like carries low key. I just want some drums that are like going to complement it. FL is done. I'm pretty happy with it. I think the beat's pretty sick. I think that's going to be the quickest one out of all of them. All right, now we are on to Ableton. I would say I'm like intermediate. Most of my music the last couple of months has been made in Ableton, um, but I'm still not the most like efficient. Like, I'm still kind of slow, but let's get into the beat, see how it turns out. I already have like a template on Ableton to try and like make things as close to FL as possible. So I just have like a audio track with like an EQ and Melodyne already loaded up. And then usually I have like three simplers so I could just drag in sounds quickly and not have to worry about like bringing in simpler every single time. But I think for this one, I'm gonna start with like a drum break or some kind of percussion. <laughs> God, that scared the shit out of me. I kind of like that for like a intro or transition or something. Mm. 
I want to add something to this bass to bring it out more. One thing that I noticed about like the contact bass is that for some reason it's like very late. Like it's never like on time. So usually I try to just freeze and flatten it and then quantize it and then put effects on it, which is kind of annoying because then it's like, if I want to change any notes, I have to redo the whole thing. My cat just joined us. Hey buddy. Good, man. Let's finish this beat. I'm still not like super happy with the bass, but I really don't want to like hyper focus. I kind of just want to finish this beat. I'm just going to give this like a rough structure, call it done. Cool. All right, Ableton done. Um, on to my least favorite, which is Logic. I'll say it, I hate Logic. I I think I'm jealous of the fact that it's like built for Apple, but the workflow just does not make any sense. I've made a total of like maybe five things in Logic and every time it's a struggle. It looks cool, like it just does not work for my tiny brain. I, I don't know what it is. So I've kind of been dreading this one. We'll see. I'll try to make something pretty simple so it's like hard to fuck it up. I've like watched a lot of people use Logic. So I feel like if I just like pretend to be them, like I do my best impression of them, I think I'll be okay. I don't know if there's like a more efficient way to do this. I should have watched a tutorial before this. I feel like I know nothing, bro. I'm struggling just to put a two-step hi-hat. How do I trim this? There we go. All right, that'll do. Let's get a kick in there. Let me put a limiter on the master. I think it's here. I'll just do Pro L. Okay, that'll do. All right, 808 time. This looks familiar, I've seen this before. Let's do, yeah, pencil tool. It's like, why is it a thing that like, if you drag from up here, it's loop, and then if you drag from down here, it's extent. I don't know. I guess it's cool, it just doesn't make any sense to me. This beat sucks, bro. Is there like a soft clipper? Let's try, oh, clip distortion. It's kind of nice. This sounds like my first beat ever. 
I feel like that's all I have in me to fucking add to this beat. We'll just say it's really simple and I'll just structure it from here. Oh my God. Okay, that wraps it up. I've done one beat in each of the three major dots. So I guess if I had to rank them all, FL is number one for me in terms of efficiency. That might just be because I know it the best, but I feel like in terms of like workflow and like getting ideas out, it is just like the fastest. I have to fight with it the least. Very simple to just get things out there. And that's kind of my, that's kind of the way I make music is just like, get ideas out quickly and then move on to the next thing. In terms of the most fun and enjoyable, I have to give the Ableton. Learning a new DAW has honestly helped me feel like I did when I first started making music. At the end of the day though, every DAW really does do the exact same thing. There is no one DAW that's better than the other, but I had fun, man. Say bye, Moji.